In this video, we'll talk about converting decimal numbers, base 10, to binary numbers, base 2. In the end, we'll take a closer look at the divide by 2 method. First, though, let's remember what a binary number is. Here we have 1111, the highest number we can have with four digits in binary. The first digit represents the 1 in the 1's place, and then we have the 2 in the 2's place, the 4 in the 4's place, and the 8 in the 8's place. We add those all up, the 1, the 2, the 4, and the 8, and we get 15. 1111 in binary equals 15 in decimal. If we take a look at that from a different perspective, we could take a look at that 15 and say how many times does 8 go into it? Look at that place right there, the 8's place, and it goes in once. How many are left over? Well, 15 minus 8 equals 7. So we'll take a look at the 4's place with that 7 and say does 4 go into 7? It does, it goes in once. Do that subtraction again, we're left with 3. Use that 3, go to the 2's place. Again, 2 goes into 3 one time. We have 3 minus 2 equals 1. And we keep repeating this until we have the 1's place going into that 1, leaving nothing left over. We end up with that same 1, 1, 1, 1 that we had before equaling to 15. We could look at this with other numbers. With 10, how many times does 8 go into it once with 2 left over? Well, then we look at the next digit, the 4's. How many times does 4 go into 2? Well, it can't. 4 is bigger than 2, so we put a 0 there, and we pull that over. We look at the 2's, how many 2's will go into 2? Well, 1 with nothing left over, and because there's nothing left over, we could put a 0 in the 1's place. And so 10 in binary is 1, 0, 1, 0. That makes sense if we think about 8 plus 2 equals 10. So we have 1 in the 8's place, 1 in the 2's place. We know that's 10. So now we know these two numbers. 15 is 1, 1, 1, 1. 10 is 1, 0, 1, 0. That works well for smaller numbers, but for larger numbers, we don't always want to figure out how many place values we want to go. With that, we can use what they call the divide by 2 method. We'll create a table with these columns right here, number, we'll divide them all by 2, we'll come up with the result, and truncated, which if you don't understand, I'll show you that in a minute, and then a remainder. So let's start with 15, divide that by 2, which equals 7.5. If we truncate that, that's not quite like rounding. Rounding would be 8. We truncate, remove the decimal part, and we're left with 7. The remainder is 1, because 7 plus 7 is 14. We have 1 remaining to get to that 15. Now we can go ahead and pull that 7 down, divide it by 2. It's 3.5. The truncated part is 3, with 1 remaining. Do that again, pull the 3 down, divide by 2. We're left with 1.5, truncated to 1 which leaves 1 as the remainder, and we'll have one more time to do this. The number is 1 there that we pulled down, divided by 2, which equals 0 0.5, which is 0, remainder 1. In this example, it's a little hard to see, but then if we look at the remainders, and we go up that list right there, we'll end up with that same number, 1, 1, 1, 1. That's the same as we had with 15. Now, because all of the digits are the same, we could go up or down, but really you need to go up for this to work, and I'll show that with 10. So if we do this with 10, again we have 10 divided by 2 is 5, truncated is 5, remainder 0 this time. 5 plus 5 is 10, no remainder. We'll pull that 5 down, divided by 2 is 2.5, truncated is 2, remainder 1. We'll pull the 2 down, do it again, we have 1, remainder 0, and now 1 divided by 2 is 0.5 with 0 remainder 1. We've gotten to the 0 in the truncated part, and if we use that same method, we look at the remainders and go up the list, we have 1, 0, 1, 0. You can do that with any number. Even larger numbers here, if I go ahead and look at the number 1,234 divided by 2, the result is 617, remainder 0, pull that 617 down, I have 308, remainder 1, 308, I end up with 154 remainder 0. We'll go down through here, 77 remainder 0, 38 remainder 1, 19 remainder 0, 9 remainder 1, 4 remainder 1. We're going to keep going until we get to 0 in that truncated column, 2 remainder 0, 1 remainder 0, and finally 0 remainder 1. We look at our remainder column and move up. And sure enough, the decimal value, 1, 2, 3, 4 in binary, is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. We could even do that with a larger number. 
I will do 56,789. Not going to walk through each step here, but we have that truncated area going down there until we get to zero at the very bottom. We look at our remainders, we move up, and sure enough, 56,789 in binary is 11011101. 1101-0101. You can do this with even larger numbers. Just keep working down until that truncated section equals zero at the very bottom. Once you have that, you know you're complete. Go back to your remainder section, go from the bottom up to the top, and you can get your binary equivalent of the decimal number.